Hey guys, what's up? I'm sorry, but my mic is broken at the moment. Uh, it can't handle my speech because then it just fucks up. I don't know why. So you're listening to some shitty mic, and I'm really sorry. And I'm trying to do my best and blank out background noise and stuff, but um, it might not be great. So um, uh, hopefully you can hear me and bear with it. So basically today I'm going to show you an uh, effect I haven't seen many people do. I actually think the only person I've seen do is I do. Um, you all guys know who he is. All guys, you guys all know who he is. And uh, this is the effect I'm talking about right here. Um, just after this kill. Uh, right here, there you go. So as you can see, it's uh, it kind of scribbles round to uh, transition. Really, really nice. Really, really nice effect, actually. Yeah, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to use Auto Trace to uh, use this effect. Um, Auto Trace is something a lot of people don't touch, so um, I don't know why, but we're going to get ahead with it and show you how you do it. So what I've done here is just made my own version. So I've uh, twisted out a clip in the background and then uh, done the drawing into the clip, make it, made it fade in. With a bit of camera shake too, just simple. Um, I actually haven't used this effect before. Um, I might start using it a wee bit, but um, I don't know, I just haven't really used it, but it's quite quick and easy to learn, so uh, here we go. So what I've done here is I have got the uh, Twixter background clip with a blur on it, and this is the bit where I'm going to put in the scribble, and then I ha just have the clip straight after. Simple as that. Um, here we are, so I'm going to go in the first frame, and I'm going to go effect. No, I'm not. I'm going to go Layer, Auto Trace, and I'm going to use the current frame. Um, you could use Work Area, but that takes a lot longer, and uh, I'm just showing you the simple simplicity of it. So, current frame, you can play about with these. Play about, sorry. Um, I like to have it about 35. Uh, preview on, minimum area 10, corner, corner round is 0, threshold 50. Luminance, all that. Okay, that'll take a couple seconds to do. <clears throat> and as you can see, it's created a bunch of masks around the frame. And uh, if you could, if you hit Control Shift H, you can see it's just white. Um, I'm gonna just slide it on top of the clips, and I'm gonna take it this way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Effect, Generate, Scribble, and I'm going to change the mask to All Masks. No, Scribble to All Masks, sorry. Right, there you go. Now we have the, the clip with the scribble. And what we're going to do is we're going to keyframe the start of the transition at the start and hit 100, and that's going to take away all the scribble. And then just before the clip starts, I'm going to put it to zero. And put this on top. And that way, what it's going to do is draw itself out really nicely. Uh, works out really well. Um, now, what else could you do? You, that is just pretty much it. You can add a bit of camera shake. Um, I'll show you guys the effect of Wiggler in the next tutorial. I'm going to be quite active soon, so look forward to that. Please stay active. Like this video. Leave a favorite, it makes me so happy. And I can't wait for 10k, and I'm gonna do an open lobby there. So I look forward to that. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, then feel free to ask me. But I think it's a pretty simple tutorial. Um, hope you guys learned something, something new, and uh, can start using this effect. And I will uh, catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.